You are listening to the Beyond the Pain podcast, where Dr. Emil Tompkins and his guest guide you through the latest techniques to relieve your pain and learn how to fuel, move, and think for lifetime wellness. How to make your year, this next year, wonderful for you and in your life? How do we make it the best year ever? Let's start by just a quick question. Have you made any New Year's resolution? And I ask that because about 70% of Americans make New Year's resolutions. So chances are you probably have. And if you haven't made a New Year's resolution, maybe you've decided that, um, that you don't make resolutions because they're always uh, hard to get through or or, um, or, or something, but most people do make some kind of resolution or some kind of commitment to do something new or different or better than, than what they did before. So what's yours? Now, today's the 11th of January, and you might even be forgetting what your New Year's resolution is because historically, um, the research has shown that 85% of all New Year's resolutions are forgotten within three weeks of making. So chances are you're actually already moving into forgetting what your New Year's resolution even is, and that's not okay. So what can we do to actually to to, to actually accomplish those goals, those resolutions that we have? Uh, what was it for you? Maybe it was. I want to eat healthier. Maybe it was, I'd like to lose weight. Maybe it is something like, I want to spend more time with my family. I want to have more intentional conversation with my, my wife. I want to um, uh, spend more time in the gym. What is it for you? For me, there were a couple, and, and officially they're not resolutions, maybe, but um, but one thing that, that I've, I've decided was that I'm going to be really intentional in the conversations I have. I tend to to come home from a relatively long day and, and I'll be asked, how was your day? And I'll say, it's good. And well, it was good. However, um, usually my wife or, or my kids asking the question don't want to know that it's good. Um, they want to know how the day was. And so being more intentional in my communication, um, I, I think is important for me, important for our family. And so that's a step that I'm going to take. But, but what is it for you? And how are we going to get there and not fall into the trap of forgetting what our New Year's resolution is, becoming frustrated and just stopping it all together so that this year is just like last year and we wonder why we're doing the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to give you some tools, some steps to make your New Year's resolution as powerful, as powerful and as effective as possible. And so what we're going to talk about today is is instead of just making a, a resolution, we're gonna make some goals. And not only are we gonna make some goals, we're going to make some SMART goals. You've probably heard this acronym before. You may have even heard someone explain what this acronym is. However, what most of us fail to do in a lot of cases is just apply that information. So we're gonna take a moment and apply this strategy, this SMART strategy, and, and make some goals. So, SMART is an acronym. Uh, each letter in SMART means something, and so the S, the first S, means specific. When you are making a goal, you want to be incredibly specific uh, in that goal that you're making. So for, um, for the S specific, we're going to use a weight loss New Year's resolution to, um, to, to illustrate this. So let's say our resolution or our goal is, is we would like to lose weight, and that's a very common one. What's your New Year's resolution? I want to lose weight. Well, that's great, but let's make it specific because if it's not specific enough, we, we may have trouble um, um, understanding if we're getting there or, or not. So instead of just saying, I want to lose some weight, let's make it really specific. I want to lose 21 pounds. That's a lot more specific. That's something that you can track um, down the road. So uh, step number one is being specific. Step number two is making sure that whatever goal that you have is something that's measurable. Um, a goal that I've had at different points in my life is, is the number of books that, that I'm going to read uh, over the course of the year. Um, so, so let's say uh, instead of making the goal of I'd like to read more, maybe the goal is I want to read um, 20 books this year. 
having that goal of reading 20 books this year gives me something that I can measure. I can see how close I am getting towards my goal. I want to, um, and, and so over the course of, of, of a period of time, you can, you can track your progress. So in the first month, I can see, am I on my way to getting my goal of 20 books a month? I will have had to read one and a half books in that month to be, to be on track to accomplish that goal. So your goal needs to be something that is measurable. Um, that's, that's, that's vital that it's something that's measurable. If it's not measurable, you're not gonna know if you're getting there. Um, the next step, A, so we've done S uh, in SMART, that's uh, specific, M is measurable. Now we'll talk about A, the goal has to be something that's attainable. I was talking with um, a family member of mine, my brother actually, I didn't tell him I was gonna talk about this, but. I was talking with my brother one day and he was talking about our Spartan races. We go out and we do Spartan races throughout the year and, and I'm thankful this year I was able to complete a trifecta which is these three different distances of Spartan race. It was really, um, it was really amazing what we were able to accomplish. Well, my, I was talking with my brother and he says, I think this year I want to complete a triple trifecta which was accomplishing these three races three different times throughout the year. So that's nine Spartan races. And the, at the moment that he said it, for a, a brief split second, I thought, well, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe we can do that. But as I started thinking about it, you have to travel to these races. They're, they're not cheap to be a part of. There's a lot of training and a lot of wear on the body. Um, very quickly, I realized that a triple trifecta, and it's, it's potentially time away from the family, a triple trifecta for me um, was not going to be something that that I could accomplish. Um, it, it just wouldn't have been been attainable. And so we want to make sure when you're creating a goal, when you're um, setting a resolution, that it is something that actually is uh, a thing that you can accomplish. So the A in SMART is attainable. Now the R in goal setting is it is it relevant? Sometimes it, it's possible to. Um, to create a goal that's um, that's not not very relevant, or it doesn't it doesn't really mean anything. And if the goal doesn't mean a whole lot to you, then it's possible that that you'll you'll give up right away, or you'll forget about it right away because the goal really didn't mean um, much. So an example of something um, that's that's relevant or 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 not. Well, let's say let's say. Um, out of nowhere, I just decided that I want to become the best basket maker um, in the world. And, and, and so that's my New Year's resolution, I'm gonna become a basket maker. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with basket making. Um, however, if, if I don't particularly love baskets and my family doesn't do a whole lot with, with baskets, it doesn't really help me. It's not really relevant, relevant to me and, and my life to, to become the world's greatest basket maker. It's the, the goal that we set, the, the thing that we want to do needs to be something that is, is relevant. Um, or the other people use that R as realistic. Is it a goal that's realistic? Um, you know, if I decided that today at, at 42 I want to be an NBA superstar or something like that, um, that's not really realistic. Um, so, so making sure that when we're creating our goals, we want to create, we, we want to accomplish these goals that we're talking about. Make sure that we make it realistic. Make sure that we make it relevant. Um, the last um, thing that we're going to talk about is is time dependent. We want to make sure that the goal that we're setting is something that is that is time dependent. You can measure it um, over a period of time. So, um, I had made a, a initial um, goal or talked about a previous New Year's resolution that I had to to read more books or to read 20 books over the course of a year. That is time dependent. You can break then that, that large goal into smaller goals so that um, over the course of the year I want to read 20 books. So maybe I make a smaller time dependent goal um, every month. I want to read two books over the course of the year. I'll actually do better than my New Year's resolution if I achieve those short um, goals. If, if I just made the goal of I want to read more books and it's not over a period of time, um, again, you can't measure it. And if you can't measure it or if you can't track progress, you're likely not going to have any progress. So we're creating our New Year's resolutions. As we're doing that, make sure that they are specific. 
Make sure that they are measurable. Make sure that they are attainable or action-oriented, something you can do. Make sure they are relevant and realistic. Make sure they are time-dependent, that you have this goal set aside over a period of time and you're going to be more likely to achieve them. And that's what I want for you. Um, and so that's why we're, we're doing this today. So now you might be thinking after going over this, okay, I know, I know what I want. I know what I want to accomplish. I'm starting to outline my goal really clearly. And hopefully you're doing this. Hopefully you've got a piece of paper or something right now that you're, you're starting to write this stuff down because if you write it down, it's going to be more, um, it's going to be more concrete. Um, for you to, to be able to do. So you've written it down, you have an idea of what you want, and you have been um, specific. So now, um, maybe you're, you're thinking, I'm not really sure though how to, to get there. And I, um, hi Vicki, thank you for commenting. Um, and, and feel free, throw your comments in, uh, your New Year's resolutions in. We'd love to, to get that information because when you, um, when you put that out there, um, you're more likely to accomplish it. That's actually another another um, real recommendation that that works for people. Whenever you make that 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 goal that that resolution more public, then you're held a little more accountable. Even if no one else is holding you accountable, you you become more accountable yourself because you've now told people what you're wanting to accomplish. So so getting that out there um, is is really important. But if you're wondering how to achieve those goals. Um, but one of the things that, that you, you, again, you wanna make sure that you do things that are attainable. And so if you don't know how to, how to achieve your goal, which let's say 21 pounds was a, uh, one thing that we had talked about. If you wanted to lose a specific amount of weight, then you want to, if you don't know how to do it yourself, then you want to find the person, the expert, that's going to be able to, to do that for you. So um, for any of you that have health goals, that you wanna start eating better, you wanna lose weight, that sort of thing, I wanna invite you to meet our health coach. Um, Kalisha is um, uh, here in our office and she helps us and helps our patients with things like nutrition, uh, things like weight loss, um, thyroid issues, a number of things, um, and and I invite you to, to be a part of that. So there's a, a special a thing that we're uh, offering for anyone who is on this uh, call today. So I thank you so much for being a part of this. Um, our, our special offer is our, our nutrition consultation where you sit down with our health coach and she goes over in a lot of detail where you are health-wise, where you are nutritionally, and then creates a, a protocol to get you where you need to be um, to to get you where you need to be in that regard. Um, she's a she's a pro. Um, she's an expert, um, certified, and and I, I trust her um, to be able to give you incredibly good health information to make a difference in moving your health in the right direction. A nutrition consultation is normally ninety seven dollars, and we're offering it for forty dollars um, today for anyone who is um, anyone who is um, uh, here on this call for anyone that takes part in that um, that that consultation. So that's something that that is available for you if you would like um, uh, if you would like to be a part of that uh, simply you uh, give us a call at our office our number is 520-572-2596 um, she'll go over things like our eight step weight loss protocol that if you follow these eight steps and it's actually it's interesting because there are when we think about our weight and and changing our weight we think of a couple of very specific things like diet and exercise those are two steps there's actually eight different things that can keep us from losing weight and if we don't, if we don't pay attention to each of those areas, we're not going to achieve the goal that we want to achieve. And if that's what you want, then you want to you want to take the right steps to be able to do that. And she can help you with that. Um, and I'm excited to see what that looks for you in the future. So again, um, if you'd like that consultation, um, just call our office at five two zero. 5722596 and we'll get that all worked out for you. And again as you're setting up your health goals, be smart, specific, measurable, um, attainable or action oriented, relevant and time dependent. Put each of those pieces together. Um, and I hope that you have a a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for commenting. Feel free to to throw your comments in there at, at any point. Feel free to give us uh, likes or or shares so that other people can get this content and 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 make changes in their health. That's our, that's our mission, and I thank you for being a part of that. I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins. Have a great day. Hey guys, it's Dr. Emil Tompkins. Many people fail to make a change in their health until things are drastic. 
until we've gone so far that it's so challenging to make that change or we feel like it's almost too late and then we're much more reluctant to make those changes in our health. This is a problem and it needs to change. It needs to stop. When you find something that has an opportunity to make a difference in your health or in the health of someone around you, I invite you to take that opportunity to make that change for yourself or for someone you know. So I have a favor to ask of you. If you've listened to this podcast and you feel like there's something here that you think will benefit someone that you know, I invite you to share that podcast with them. There's a share link on the bottom of the screen. I want you to click that share button to share this with others. Give others the opportunity to experience the Beyond Pain Relief podcast. Uh, Share that with others. Make a difference in the health of someone around you. And I thank you so much for doing that. This is Dr. Emil Tompkins. Thank you for joining us on the Beyond Pain Relief podcast. And thank you for making a difference in the lives of the people around you. Have a great day. You are listening to the Beyond the Pain podcast, where Dr. Emil Tompkins and his guests guide you through the latest techniques to relieve your pain and learn how to fuel, move, and think for lifetime wellness.